Hello, Namaste. I welcome you all to this Easy Ayurveda case discussion series. Uh, we have with us Dr. Rajinikant Patel with us. I dedicate this and all of my works at the holy feet of Dr. A. Chandrasekhar Gurupa. Uh, Rajinikant will be presenting uh, his two cases that he has recently treated. And you, so this class is made live uh, exclusively <coughs> for uh, people who have subscribed for Easy Ayurveda weekly classes. If you want to subscribe, then if you are not subscribed yet or you want to subscribe, then please go to easyairveda.com slash video classes. A uh, grand welcome to Dr. Rajinikant. Namaste. So Dr. Rajinikant Kacharya is uh, very famous and he runs a clinic, Ved Clinic. Yeah, it is there in Surat, Gujarat. If you want to consult him for any case discussions, personal treatment, etc., you can go to easyairweather.com slash Patel. I will share this link as well. Uh, so there he offers video and also email consultations as well. So uh, over to you, Rajni Kansar. Please go ahead with your presentation. Namaste, everyone. Uh, first, we will be... Uh, today, I think two cases we will be taking. First uh, case uh, is... Uh, well, as you all can see, hemolytic uremic syndrome. Uh, so, just a brief introduction. The name itself suggests that hemolytic uremic syndrome. So, the system getting affected in this uh, disease is renal system, kidney, ureter, renal cell, etc. And what happens is hemolytic. It means in this disease, the patient has hemolysis of their blood, means breaking down of uh, some of the component of the blood. Right, so that's the basic introduction. So coming to the patient, uh, she was a 29-year female patient. Uh, she came to my OPD. Uh, based on uh, her history, on 10th March 2020, she got a high-grade fever with rigors. So generally, they went for a general practitioner, their family physician, and they started treatment for a viral fever or something like that. But, uh, she was not getting uh, control in a fever and... Uh, or either send all the symptoms. Suddenly, she started parin, passing the orange color urine or reddish uh, orange color uh, urine. So, they have referred him to the higher center in the hospital. And uh, they have done some investigation, basic investigation to see the what is happening. So, they found that her HB is dropped down to only 3%. And platelet is uh, dropped down to 25,000, which should be... 1.50 lakhs, uh, I mean uh, one and a half lakhs uh, should be normal and hemoglobin should be 12 percent normal. So this was uh, dropped down such a drastic way. So and creatinine level was also 3.5. So this is the first day of uh, this uh, means ladies in the hospital. So they have diagnosed uh, this patient as a hemolytic uremic syndrome. Uh, in this acute kidney failure or acute kidney injury happened due to the toxins released by some particular bacteria that we will be discussing in the next slide. So as she was having a high creatinine and acute renal failure, so she was needed 8, eight uh, dialysis and 6 time plasma therapy to replace the blood component because her HB was down, her platelet was down, so they also they have ingested him. They are an eight time dialysis they have done to stop the kidney damage, right? But uh, what happened is after giving a uh, blood transfusion, again within four or five days, uh, his uh, HB is getting down because whatever HB is passing through the renal system, they are getting breaking down due to these toxins of the bacteria. So uh, he she was not able to sustain the normal level of platelet and hemoglobin. So somebody has referred to me for Ayurvedic treatment and we have started the treatment and within two months uh, her HB and platelet level are uh, restored to the normal range that we will be seeing next. Okay, so serum creatinine level was uh, around 3.5. 3 it is uh, more than double of uh, normal and uh, it is now uh, ranging between 1.3 to 2.6. It is almost uh, normal. And uh, now patient doesn't have any complaints. She is able to do her day-to-day -day life activity without any uh, trouble or any problem. And also she doesn't have any clinical sign as of now. She is completely 100% clinically normal. So by which uh, thought we should uh, treat the disease? Either we should treat it as a uh, prameha, pittaj prameha because of this uh, reddish urine. Either we treat it as a mutra gata or mutra cruz. So I took two to three days to read this disease. Right. 
So this can be a differential diagnosis in uh, Ayurvedic uh, right? Either we can take it as a Lala Meha, Pitta Pramaha. We can take Mutra Prutra also, right? So two three days I have studied uh, and I have come to conclusion that this disease should be treated under the Vish Chikitsa. That is the treatment of the toxin. We have used uh, modern uh, pathogenesis to understand this uh, disease. Okay, so what happened is when somebody is taking the contaminated food, most probably due to E. coli bacteria, so they get a loose motion, uh, diarrhea they get. So what happened is E. coli bacteria has a tendency to produce the shiga toxins in the blood, right? And there is a GB3 receptor. There is a receptor on the cellular wall that is called GB3 receptor. So this kind of receptor uh, presents all over the body in each and every tissue of our body. But it is uh, more in a renal tissue compared to the other other body tissue, right? So so this uh, disease affect in renal system more. And this uh, cigar toxins which is released by this uh, E. coli bacteria has a tendency to attach with uh, this uh, GB3 receptor, mm -hmm. right? So you understood, person eating contaminated food or any way, if person is getting infected with E. coli bacteria, in that case E. coli bacteria will be releasing some kind of poison in the blood. That poison we call shiga toxin that bind to the G3, GB3 receptor that is present in the renal system. Actually, it is present in all over the body. Okay, so we have seen GB3 receptor and uh, this shiga toxin. They both are bind together in the renal system. And this leads to the kidney failure. Right. So how this leads to kidney failure? Well, once the shiga toxin is attaching to the G, GB3 this uh, receptor, it will activate, hyperactivate, or it will uh, hyper, uh, hypo uh, deactivate. I mean, it will uh, leads to the activation and deactivation of the normal factor, which is responsible for blood clotting mechanism. So there will be a disturbance in the blood clotting, uh, this all the pathway. So it will leads to the breaking down of the more and more platelet in the renal system, glomeruli, this uh, exon, everything in the renal system. So, this leads to inflammation and acute uh, kidney failure. So, I think it is clear how this disease happened and what is the pathogenesis. E. coli bacteria, it releases the toxins, it uh, attaches to the GB3 receptor in the renal uh, cell and uh, in, uh, activate and deactivate some of the pathway of the uh, blood clotting mechanism. According to modern science, this is purely due to the toxin uh, released by the E. coli bacteria. And in Ayurveda, we have the wish chikitsa concept, right? So we have, I have treated this uh, patient based on the wish chikitsa, not as per the Pramaya chikitsa or Mutra Kutsa or etc. So Shirisha and Vilvadi Gulika will be the drug of choice in this case. Is in Charak Samhita Sutrasthana, we did the Agre Dravya. There Shirisha is uh, being told that it is the best Vishagna Dravya. So this is the botanical name, scientific name and Vilvadi Gulika. Apart from that two medicine, I have used Nagarjuna Brothers and Vasti Amaintika Ghee in this case. Right, so Nagarjuna Brothers has only two ingredients. One is the uh, Abrak Basma and another one is the uh, Arjuna, Arjuna Bark Fresh Juice. So Abrak uh, Basma should be given Bhavana with the, uh, sorry, Abrak Basma should be given Bhavana with the uh, Arjuna Thok Swarasa. Here, Arjuna, we all know, it is a cardioprotective drug. It helps in cardiopulmonary disease. It improves the blood circulation. So, and Abrak Basma, this also acts on a circulatory system. Uh, one new word I am writing here is Pragnya Bodhi quality of the Abrak Basma. So, this might be uh, new for everyone, but if you read the Rasaratna Samushaya book, this is a classical textbook on Rasa Shastra, in that uh, quality of abrak, Shuddha Abrak Prasma has been told. One among that quality is Pragnya Bodhi. So what is the meaning of Pragnya Bodhi? It uh, restores the forgotten memory. Understand? Uh, for example, what happened in uh, autoimmune disease? Uh, cells start attacking our own uh, body cell, normal cell. Understood? So uh, once uh, our body is getting uh, forget their normal function, so Abrak Basma will remind them, hey, you see, this is not your normal function. You start working, uh, behaving normal. So Abrak Basma will force the cell to remind them 
their normal activity then vasti ama in tika ghi right so this main uh, fal shruti is vasti uh, gat roga the series talk we will see the ras panchaka it has the lagu and ruksha guna kashaya tikta rasa it, it has katu vipaka uh, this i think uh, all can uh, read from dravya guna book no issue prabhava is vishagna see here prabhava has been told as vishagna this is the best vishagna dravya in ayurveda so i have used the uh, series talk kuna and in classical reference uh, Ah, this varnya kushtabna kandubna. These are the other uh, this uh, mode of action or other place where we can use the shrikta. But the best we use in uh, vish chikitsa. Any kind of poisonous substance you want to remove from the body means uh, directly you can go for shrikta. These are the identification flower. Uh, it has a pink color flower or a yellowish uh, white color flower. Two variety are available. This is a pink color, and in another photo, white is yellow is there. Vivadi Guli ka Ashtangradeya Uttar Sthanam. This is the classical reference in a Vish Tikitsa, either in Bushi Visha, Garvish, or in Thavar and Jangam Vish. Any kind of uh, uh, toxic effect we can uh, uh, handle with uh, Vivadi Guli ka. So main ingredients uh, is name goes Bilwa, Surasa, Karanja. Karanja also here Vishagna. Uh, Nata, Suraha, Haritaki, Vibhitaki, Amlaki, that is Trifala next. Shunti, Maricha, Pippali, Nisha, Daru, Aridra and Pastamutra. Poison of snake, spider, rat and scorpion. I told us, Tha, Jangam, Visha. So any in insect bite, that uh, poison of snake, spider, rat, etc. Visutika, that is gastroenteritis, that is also a poisonous uh, disease. I mean, uh, when person is uh, uh, eating contaminated food with E. coli bacteria, they get the diarrhea. Same happens in the hemolytic uremic syndrome. The initial symptoms will be loose motion. That is also he is uh, written. Visutika, Ajina, Gara means artificial poison. If we are eating two non-poisonous substances together in the body, and if it is producing poisonous effect together, for example, Virudhara, if we are taking milk and fruit together, Milk and fruit are non-poisonous substance, but together if it is going, it will produce the artificial poison that is called uh, gara and uh, jora. Next, this is the classical indication where to use bilwadi gula. Nagarjuna Rasa, that is Vaisaj Ritna Vali Hikka Swash Tikitsa chapter, it is reference, uh, contains Abrak Basma and Arjun Thor. Classical indication, it has a Radroga, that is a heart disease, Sarvashula, it is a all types of uh, polyki pain. Hemorrhoids, oripilation, vomiting, and anorexia. Mm -hmm. this, uh, diarrhea, we can use impaired digestion, bleeding disorder, akshaya, that is uh, emaciation due to chest injury, edema, ascites, hyperacidity, recurrent fever. So, all uh, these are the indications of the Abrak Basma. Uh, I mean, uh, this uh, Abrak Basma with Arjun Thok, it is Nagarjuna Prairas. Okay, it is also act as Balya, Rusha, and Rasayana. This is the beauty of uh, Ayurvedic medicine. One medicine we can use in uh, 100 way based on our yukti. Next. Uh, main important, uh, uh, this is Vasti Amaintika Gruta is uh, very less we heard from any practitioner's practice or anywhere we heard very less. But this is a very very much important uh, drug that can be used in any disease of a renal system. Or bladder, you have any issue in ureter. This also work uh, tremendously on this uh, uretic uh, stricture, uretic uh, stricture we have. So I have used uh, in many cases very good results because name itself goes like this, Vasti Amayantika Grita. You can use in any disease of Vasti, that is the bladder. Vasti Amayantika Grita, key which act on urinary system disease for treatment. Ingredients, uh, we can, uh, one can refer the Sahasra Yagam book. Under Gruta Kalpana, you will find the reference of Vasti Amaintika Gruta. So these are the content Darvi, Madhuka, Mastiyakshi, Padma, Pachan Veda, Bruhati, Shalaparani, Krishna Parani, Sariva, Ikshu, uh, Shikguru, Hivera, Varahikanda, Varuna. So it has all the Vat with Kaf Nasha properties. See, Varuna is there, Shikru is there, this is uh, Kaf Nashaka, uh, Ikshu is there, Pitta Nashaka it is there. Three dosha it acts. See, Draksha, Yastimadu, Gokshura, all the herbs which control three dosha. And uh, important is uh, one is uh, Gugulu. In a very few 
Grita Kalpana, uh, we have reference of using of Google. We have mostly Google is a tablet based uh, Kalpana. I mean, like uh, Yogaraj Google, Simhana Google. In this uh, Grita, we have the use of Google. If you read the, this uh, Avran Tikitsa, Avran Tikitsa in Charak Samhita Tikitsa Asthana, Vat Vyadi Tikitsa, I think 27th chapter of Tikitsa Asthana, if you read, there Avran is uh, being told, Anya Anya Avran, Anya Avran, like that. So in the treatment of uh, this uh, Avrana, Acharya Charaka has used only three medicine. Uh, Shuddha Silajatu, Shuddha Gugulu, and I think Brahma Rasain or Chavan Pras. So this, if you have these three drugs in your clinic, you can tackle any Avrana in the body. This is the reference from Charak Samhita, Siddhya Tikisastana. So these are the quark dravya, prakshapak dravya, milk uh, uh, ratio wise, you can, you can, uh, you can refer to Sahastriyogam, more idea you will get. Narikela water, important. The shloka, if you read, the falsuti goes like that, mutra putrani sarvani. It means in any types, or all the types of urinary disease, we can use this, uh, this grita. Then sarkaram asmari mapi, urinary or renal calculi. Any calculi which is situated or getting stuck anywhere in the renal system, we can use this also. As it contains Pashan Veda also in this Grita. It has Gugulu, it has Shilajitu, it has Pashan Veda, it has Kapha Shamak also in this Grita. Varun and Chigru is also there in this uh, Grita. Okay, so diabetes also. As we are, according to modern science, diabetes is uh, increased uh, sugar level in the body. But uh, if you understand from the uh, Ayurvedic perspective of you means Prameha, is of a uh, renal system originated disease. Uh, it occurs in uh, this uh, vasti from uh, so this has been indicated here. The patients, history I have told you how we have discussed treatment, what and all content of the treatment. Now we will see the results of this patient with uses of this uh, treatment. Uh, date is the uh, 22nd April 2020. Her platelet count was uh, 60,000, I think. It is uh, very much uh, below to the normal level. And you see 27 uh, uh, May, you see the green arrow, from that day, in that uh, time, we have started uh, her Ayurvedic, treating uh, her with Ayurvedic medicine. You can see the graph, uh, gradually the number of platelet is getting increased. And uh, the maximum we have achieved in this is 2,11,000 platelet. That is more than normal, means uh, healthy level. So this was not uh, possible when they have transfused the blood. I mean, after giving them blood component also, her platelets were not uh, getting increased because it was breaking down in the renal system. It is like a broken vessel. You are putting something from the up upside and the lower is big also, it is coming out. So there won't be a story. So this happened in this patient. After giving blood also, her platelet and HB remains the down. But once you see the Ayurvedic treatment is started, her uh, platelet uh, level goes to the normal. These are the hemoglobin level. You can see it, it range from 7.4 to 8. It was ranging between that after giving blood transfusion also. Once we have started the treatment, you can see direct jump. It uh, rise to the maximum 12.7% of hemoglobin. So this is the beauty of Ayurvedic medicine. After giving blood transfusion also, it is not happening. Simple medicine has uh, taken this. We, we will give a break uh, for question and answer. Dr. Rajnikanji, uh, for such a case, uh, if that patient asks you, or what would you recommend as far as Ahar and Vihar goes for her particular doshic imbalances? Rakta Datu is uh, basically uh, vitiated in this case. So we should not give any type of food that should aggravate the Pitta Dosha more. Because anyhow, it is a uh, Rakta Datu is getting lost in the uh, urine. So Rakta Kshaya is there. So we should uh, focus on uh, Pitta Vardha Kahara. I mean, patient, we should advise that uh, patient's Pitta should not be rice. Icy item, sore item. Means you should focus on Pitta Dosha when the Rakta Datu is getting affected. Because Pitta is the sthana of a Rakta Datu. I mean, uh, in Ashtangradiya, there is one shloka, uh, Tatra Asthini Sthito Vayu Pittam Tu Sved Rakta Yo. So Pitta reside in Rakta. Understand? So we should focus on uh, Pitta Dosha. So patient came to you and you took two to three days to uh, formulate the treatment. 
in such case i do like that and so i mean during that time what do you tell to the patient do you ask them to come back after 2 3 days or uh, i tell them you come visit after 3 days the patient is having ajina or uh, if i think he or she require deepana patana then i will be giving chitrakadi vatti or i will advise 3 4 days langana so in that 3 4 days he is deepan patana will be also done and if i have something to refer i will also refer so it is benefiting for a patient also and for me also do you tell the patient that you are going to plan it in 2 3 days or you just uh, what do you say to the patient no in some case uh, i openly say them your case is uh, too much complicated even i need time to see in the view perspective of ayurvedic eye so patient uh, normally agree because they have spent uh, this patient spent 7 to 8 lakhs rupees in a private hospital corporate hospital still they didn't uh, include so they will wait for one month also one thing that i appreciate uh, oh. with you is that you know being honest with the patient is always the best you know you are also trying and you, you may need a little more time so being honest also makes them also comfortable yes. and uh, we will not be like in a hurry to start with some medicines so did you use any deepana patana or any any such no, thing no in this used i just talk in general you said that they had already uh, uh, spent around 6 to 7 lakh they have spent yes so what was the like uh, approximate cost of all the other medicines that you used i know uh, hardly 2000 rupees <laughs> per month so, i mean if you if the students remember we had dr rajinikan previously for uh, uh, for mucormycosis treatment post covid complication as mucormycosis had <laughs> uh, developed and he was getting a lot of treatments and you know over the in one of the videos he has clearly explained how say i think he has asked one question will it be right to say vilwadi work when toxicity is on digestion level and sirisha work on tissue level see sirisha is according to me it is a emergency drug right uh, fresh sirisha drug sorasa we advise in icu or ventilator patient where there is a septic shock and patient on ventilator at time we advise them sirisha twak of fresh sorasa right in modern science they have cell tissue organ system and everything but in ayurveda we have to see body as a whole actually we are the, the doing treatment of visha produced by the krumi that is e coli bacteria you see the vasti amaitik grita in that uh, sirisha is there karanja is there right uh, nima is there this all are vishapna dravya also actually we treated with vish chikitsa but indirectly it acted as a krumi chikitsa also in in ayurveda i mean the same disease can be approached in many different angles where else can, can we use the same medicines as you are used one tip take home message from this is nagarjuna prarash yes. understand it uh, forced the cell to do their normal work for example in autoimmune disease in any autoimmune disease the all no, auto immunity means our body's own cell uh, killing our own cell it means we are fighting uh, we are killing our own sister our own brother our own father uh, mother we are we own kill if somebody comes to our home and they will shout to us hey you don't kill he is your father you should not kill him so this abra basma act like that it uh, command the cell to do their proper work and not to do negativity work in the body so that is the pragna bodhi bone of the abrak basma so any kind of autoimmune disease any type of cancer in, in cancer also cell forget the uh, how to multiply uh, his normal work is to make the uh, two two four four i mean from two cell he need to make four only if he is making uh, five cell from two cell means he is doing wrong work so abrak basma will command them oh you sit down you should uh, form two four, four cell only not five cell so this is reminding them the normal activity is the work of abrak basma if you read rasaratna samushaya abrak basma gun then you, you will be knowing more about this so moving on to the next case 